Hi people, I am Gabriel Urdaneta. So I'm gonna explain here a project, a mini project that I have been working on for my senior design project, which is powering an LED strip using an Arduino board. So I will go over the code here. So I'm using uh, the Fruit NeoPixel uh, library, which allow me to use some uh, functions that they already have made up for make uh, the usage of the strips easier for uh, programmers. So here you can see that I am defining a variable called pin. Uh, this is the Arduino pin number six, which is the pin that it's gonna be sending the data to the LED strips to tell them what to do. Then here you can see that I have four variables uh, called uh, full LEDs, worn LEDs, emergency LEDs, and down LEDs. One of them represents a uh, number of LEDs that I'm going to be turning on. Then I am creating four different objects. Uh, they belong to uh, the Fruit NeoPixel library. Uh, these allow me to create four different objects where I can tell uh, the number of LEDs that I want to use, then the pin that is going to be controlling them, and I left these uh, parameters as default because I didn't really need to change it. So here, uh, this is the setup function which runs uh, just once. So we are initializing uh, each of the four strip, and then uh, Arduino will run this loop forever. So this happened four times because we have four uh, states. So per state, we are gonna write the LED strip bar and then we erase it. So we need to give uh, the color and the strip that we are using as parameter for those functions. So for the write bar here, uh, as you can see, this is a basic for loop, nothing out of this world. Uh, we just need to set up the color and making making it turn on uh, by the index. And then uh, we're giving it a delay of 500 milliseconds. And then after we do this, uh, we make use of this function called erase bar because we need to erase all the colors before we go to the next state. So it's basically the same as for loop. It sets the color to zero, which represents no color. And then we give a really small delay of one millisecond so we cannot notice it. Here you can see the fully functional code in running in the Arduino. So that's the full state. Then this is uh, emergency state. Sorry, no. This is emergency state. That's down state. And then the yellow was the warning status. Thank you for watching this video.